Hi, welcome back. It's Lionel Tech Lead and Partner at West Vault. Today I have a tutorial video for you. Um, I've been getting a few comments from my audience that I should do a YouTube uh, commentary tutorial. And basically as a tech lead, I don't really have the chance to do a lot of coding these days. I do a lot more management. But today I happen to want to build a little pet project over here using E2. And what happened is I discovered that E2 is still using Bootstrap uh, 3. So that's the old uh, Bootstrap. Nothing wrong with it. It's just that the design is a little bit outdated. Uh, we've been working on a lot of projects where it starts off on Bootstrap 4. And usually my team are the ones that build the uh, project. So let me just remove this. And behind me, you can see the screen of Bootstrap 4 how nice the design is, the colors, the typography. And what we're going to do, right, is we're going to uh, learn how to actually input Bootstrap 4 into the application so that you guys can have this beautiful looking Bootstrap. Now, behind there is the starting page of E2 uh, using, you can see that's Bootstrap 3 uh, set up there. The fonts, nothing really wrong about it. It's actually quite nice. I find if it's not broken don't fix it however sometimes you do want to keep your uh, front-end CSS frameworks updated to the latest copy they also look quite nice they might have some new uh, functionality that's built in there but still very nice very nice buttons very nice features in bootstrap 3 now what we're going to do here right is um, I've got a list of tasks that you need to do and I'll put them in the description below um, the first one as you can see in the instructions is that we are going to um, load the uh, E2 extension so I've already gone ahead and done this using composer you can see that on the line over there composer required E2 uh, I'll put a link in the description below and it updates to bootstrap 4.53 uh, here's the page with all the information that you can just copy it. Uh, if you're using Windows, you don't actually have to write composer.phar. Um, so the good folks at Yisoft, always ahead of the curve, have built that, that for us. And all we have to do is just insert that uh, composer command. And once it's done, it will actually update the assets. So. As you can see, I'm going to the app asset under the asset folder, and we're just going to change this from Bootstrap to Bootstrap 4. So, telling the application stop loading the vendor folder from Bootstrap, change it to Bootstrap 4. Okay, so let's reload, see what happens. Oof, what happened up here? So, we're going to have to make some changes to the CSS and some of the widget components. And uh, we can do this by actually changing the references inside the widget code. So you're going to find them inside the main folder layout slash main. Uh, this is part two. So you're going to update the widget path in the layouts. So you'll find them right up here. Uh, as you can see, I'm referencing using sublime. And uh, they're saying, okay, that's bootstrap. I'm just adding four over there. And what this is doing is just basically updating our um, widget to use Bootstrap 4 instead of Bootstrap 3. So you can see uh, we've seen the typography change, the background has changed. Uh, you notice the nav bar has now disappeared. Uh, it used to be black, right? So I'm just going to remove these uh, outdated classes because this is the one that it comes uh, um, it's set up with. Just remove that, just change it to a basic setup of the navigation bar. The other thing I like to do is also remove all the existing CSS. Um, I'm not really sure if it's compatible with Bootstrap 4. So just remove that first and then you see we've got the background again. Uh, now everything's aligned to the left hand side. It's starting to look pretty nice. And now I've just reloaded it with the nav bar. And you can see we have a standard navigation bar with those four options set up on the side. 
Uh, once again, very nice looking with the fonts. So um, once you've removed that, all you have to do, right, is then update some of the coding. You've got the nice buttons with the uh, the color. You notice that the green is a little bit more intense. So you can actually go to the Bootstrap uh, documentation page and try out some of the uh, CSS classes that you want to load up there. Um, the one notice thing is don't forget if you're using any kind of widget to use Bootstrap 4 widget. If you use Bootstrap 3, uh, it will use the old one if you don't specify it. So Bootstrap 4, there's a whole bunch of widgets that we can probably go through um, in more detail, but this is just a entry level tutorial. So um, I hope you guys have learned something going through the Bootstrap uh, 4 upgrade of Y2. Enjoy the nice design and that's the bottom line because tech lead said so.